All right, so Macs have gotten really great and all, especially when it comes to things like hardware and performance. We're getting double the performance generation after generation by literally fusing two chips together every time. We even finally got 16 gigabytes of RAM in some of the base model laptops, but we still can't snap windows around by dragging them to the edge of the screen. But for five pounds, you can get an app called Magnet, which lets you do exactly the same thing you can do on Windows, and which to be honest should have been a feature on Mac from the very beginning. So once you download Magnet and give it a couple of permissions and settings, you can go right ahead and start snapping windows. The setup process is as easy as it can be. You can either snap one window to one side and take up half the screen, or you could have a four window setup with one in each corner. You can also split the screen up in thirds. It's just exactly how Windows lets you do it, but here you have to pay five pounds, as stupid as it is. So without Magnet, macOS has its own pretty long way of doing the whole split screen thing and even then you can only split your screen up in halves and after doing it a couple times I eventually gave in and bought Magnet. Mac OS's default split screen mode was like hover over to the green expand icon then click whether you want it to be on the left or the right then click on the window you want on the other side of the screen but with Magnet you just drag it to one side and you're done. Honestly, I used to be very against the idea of paying for an app but if it means you can get work done much faster and it's going to save you a lot of time in the long term then I guess it's worth it if it's just five pounds. There is another app on the Mac App Store called Align that's supposed to be basically the same as Magnet, but it is free, but it's just nowhere near as good. To actually get the app to work, you need to mess around with a bunch of things in the Shortcuts app. Just reminds me of the days when people were trying to get custom icons on their iPhone home screens. And it's also just nowhere near as fast and snappy as it is on Magnet. And on top of that, to be able to do any of the advanced things like have a three window setup or a two by two grid, you'd have to pay an extra fee. But that's about it. Short video this time, but I just wanted to show you guys an app that saved me a lot of time. And that I do recommend, despite how stupid it is, that you have to pay for this kind of feature. Huge thanks for watching this video. I'll leave a link to Magnet in the description below. If they haven't sponsored this video in any way, make sure to subscribe, drop a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.